For those of you that were unable to get Open Music working on your computer, um, I've created a little workaround using only Max MSP. Uh, this is not going to be as detailed and as robust as uh, the options that we're going to have in Open Music. So if you are interested in digging deeper into computer assisted composition, I'd recommend you try to get OM installed on your computer or use the computers in the studios. Um, but for now, this is going to be a, a good workaround and a good way to get used to playing with the harmonic series, distorted harmonic series, and subsets of the harmonic series using only Max MSP. Uh, so the first thing you should do is open Max, click on the package manager here on the left, uh, and look for the Bach package. Uh, please install both Bach and Cage. You can click on this. Right here, there should be a green button uh, that will install this package. Once you've installed both of these, you can close the package manager um, and you can open up the Bolaños Bach Harmonic Series patch on Canvas. It should look something like this. You'll probably see a little screen that pops up that indicates that Bach was loaded. Um, if you see error messages right here, it might be the case that uh, Bach and Cage were not installed properly and you could either try to install them again, restart Max, um, or let me know and I'll help you troubleshoot. Um, but in any case, here we have a couple options for playing with harmonic series. Uh, the first thing you should do is make sure your patch is locked so that you can manipulate these elements and these objects. Um, if it's unlocked, this is essentially the editing mode in Max MSP, and what will happen is you'll actually be moving things instead of interacting with the objects. So make sure it's locked. Um, this is an option to have semitone or quarter tone divisions uh, of our overtone series and of our fundamental. Um, by clicking and dragging up and down, we can change the fundamental. You can also shift and arrow up, hold shift and press arrow up or arrow down to jump up and down by an octave. Um, notice how these get evaluated instantly, not like open music where you have to select them and press V. It's one of the differences between Max and open music. Um, right here we can determine the number of partials uh, and it'll give you a complete harmonic overtone series starting from 1, which is our fundamental, all the way up to 19. If you select one of these objects and hit spacebar, it'll play back um, the harmonic series, either an arpeggio or a chord. Here on the right we have the exact same setup but with the option to distort the harmonic series. So again we can set our fundam fundamental to whatever you want, number of partials, um, and then as we saw in class, a stretch factor of 1 is the same as a harmonic overtone series. A uh, stretch factor of greater than 1 would be an expanded overtone series. And anything less than 1 would be contracted. Uh, just a quick note, if you enter a number, um, this is obviously, we can see it's not a perfect harmonic E-flat overtone series. There's a little bug that you have to enter the number twice. I don't really know why, but if you click and type a number, you have to do so twice to get an accurate um, evaluation of that of that um, distortion. Um, I'm working on fixing that, but it's not a big deal right now. And then finally here, in the third section of this patch, we have subsets of the harmonic series, also with distortion. Uh, so we would again set our fundamental, set your microtonal uh, division. Um, and then here are four of my favorite ways to work with subsets of the harmonic series. Um, number one is just uh, entering your own list, whatever list you want. You do so by unlocking your patch, so it's an edit mode. Double clicking on this message object, and then within these square brackets, you can enter whatever partials you want. I lock, uh, then you have to lock your patch again and push on this message object in order to evaluate it. Now, down here, if you notice, we only actually have, uh, we don't have all four partials that we entered. Because this uh, value right here has not been changed. Um, so a little side note, whatever your highest number, either in this list or in this one, which we'll see in just a minute, uh, whatever this highest number is, your number of partials should be higher, or it will truncate that list. So if you notice, if we go down to below 19, it truncates the last element in this list. Uh, but in any case, that's a, this is a useful way of entering whatever uh, series you want. Very uh, user-friendly and very versatile. We can also create an arithmetic series by determining our start point um, 
end point and our step size. Now, right here with the step size of one, it's identical to these two sections on the left side of the patch. Basically just partials one through whatever uh, the index number is. Um, but if we change our step size to two, for example, it will give us every second part, every other partial, or every third, or every fourth, etc. cetera. Uh, in this case, it's going up to 49. So I will make sure that uh, my upper limit is above 49. Uh, this is a very powerful and very common way of working with harmonic series. Um, one that's a little less common, but that I, I kind of enjoy, is working with uh, prime numbers. So we can set uh, our start point and our end value. Um, and right here you see a list that gives you all of the prime numbers between 1 and 144. Uh, and our top value right here is 139. So if we want it to go all the way up there, it should have to be at least 139. It's a way of filtering out some of the partials. Um, you can also have uh, subsets. Uh, let's say you wanted, let's say this was too high. We can actually select these, uh, Control A or Command A, Shift, arrow down, and transpose these down one or two octaves. Uh, if things are a little bit too out of range. Um, and then finally, my personal favorite actually, and I use this in my music all the time, um, is taking a Fibonacci series and using that to determine which partials I want to use. So we can set our first two values of the Fibonacci series, one, two, and then the number of elements that we want. In this case, it's the number of elements, not the highest, they're the maximum. So 12 elements will take us all the way up to 233. And a Fibonacci series is taking, um, it's uh, the kind of mathematical principle surrounding the, uh, under, underlying the golden ratio. So it's one, and then the next number plus the previous number, that would be three. Three plus two is five, five plus three is eight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we can actually determine our first two values to get different proportions of the Fibonacci series. One, three, four, seven. Um, one, four, five, nine, et cetera. And you just get the next number by adding the previous number. 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, etc., etc. Um, what I really like about this is that, as you notice, as the Fibonacci series goes higher, um, they become increasingly more spaced apart. Uh, so as a result, the voicing of the resultant harmony or timbre is, uh, is spaced really balanced because this is, again, because of the way that we hear logarithmically. Um, a change of a few frequencies up here will be much less than a change, a, a few hertz up here will be much less than a change of a few hertz down here. Um, and so the fact that this expands um, also at a kind of a, somewhat of an exponential or a logarithmic rate means that the spacing of these harmonies is retained and is maintained pretty open. I really like the sounds of these. 12 and 13, interesting things like this. They're a lot of fun to play with. Um, anyway, as I mentioned, all we have right here are a couple options of playing with a harmonic series and distorted harmonic series. Um, I'm not really going to be able to provide um, other alternatives for playing with, for example, frequency shifting and distortion and uh, some of the other complex computer-assisted composition manipulations that we're going to be doing in open music. So if you do want to dig deeper, um, try to get open music working. You might have to install OM pound or OM hashtag. Uh, that's the most modern contemporary version of open music and it's a little more stable. Um, alternatively, use the computers in the studios. Uh, but for now, this should hopefully uh, get you thinking and get you listening to these manipulations of the harmonic series. And if you have any questions or problems, please email me and let me know. Enjoy.